Hi second graders, it's Miss Weber here and today we're going to read a book called Cloud Chaser. This book is written by Anne Fleur Drillin and illustrated by Eric Pye Barrett. Let's get started. Ever since I can remember, I've dreamed of flying. Ring! The last school bell of the year announced the start of summer, days that stretched out lazily ahead. I snapped my notebook shut on the pages where I was doodling flying machines. My parents did not approve. Get your head out of the clouds, Emery. They always told me, be practical. So, I only told Mirabelle, my pet swallow, about my ideas for fabulous inventions. We lived in the middle of a huge field surrounded by olive trees. At the edge of the ocean, seagulls flew high and lonely over the cliffs. There was also the White House next door, but no one lived there. Until one summer evening, a mysterious man moved in. This man wore a wide-brimmed hat and had a long white beard. He unpacked a heap of strange objects and piled them up in his garden. Pressed against my window, I watched him stroll among the towers of junk, mumbling to himself for hours. My parents said, look, a new friend. Why don't we all go and say hello? But I was too shy. One morning, not seeing the shadow of his black hat, I crept over to his garden. I couldn't help exploring the jumble of amazing objects. Who knew what might be in there? Like Mirabelle digging for a juicy worm, I rummaged through the clutter. And then, underneath some old newspapers, I found treasure. A go-kart! Nearby was a trunk filled with rolls of, toilet paper, of wallpaper. In a flash, it hit me. These were exactly the items I needed to build the machine of the century. Hmm. Second graders, I'm wondering what his idea is. What might he build? I took the supplies to the field and worked all day, losing track of time until finally the wing wizard was born. I puffed out my chest as proud as Mirabelle when she sang one of her songs. I climbed inside my invention and began to push the pedals. Suddenly, I saw him, the strange old man. He ran towards me, an enormous object in his arms. What was he carrying and why? Was he going to throw something at me, chase me away? What do you think the man has? Hello there, he cried. You won't get very far like that. Painted paper wings, those won't be enough to lift anyone into the sky. You need stronger wings and you need to go faster. Let's try this. He showed me what he carried. It was a propeller. With the propeller, you can go faster, he explained, and maybe get enough air under those wings. His pockets were heavy with tools, too. He spent the rest of the afternoon showing me how to use them. By evening, the wing wizard had been transformed. Grabbing the steering wheel, I tried to turn the propeller, but it was rusty and stuck. I twisted the wheel until the car tipped right over, and I fell out into the grass. We both burst out laughing. By the way, my name is Leon, he said as he helped me up. Memory, I said, and this is my swallow, Mirabelle. We've never met another inventor before. From that day on, we worked on our inventions together every day. My parents still shook their heads at me, but they, invented, they invited Leon over for tea. They were glad I'd found a friend. Leon and I rummaged for hours in his garden. 
Each object we found gave us new ideas. We need, we still need stronger wings. Now, what can we do with these old bicycle wheels? He asked. I held up a piece of fabric. Yes, he shouted. That's it. You will soar over the fields. We took the spokes off the wheels and sewed them into the fabric to make a wing that held its shape but was still flexible. And that's how the Sky Climber came into being. The propeller got me going fast enough to push a lot of air under the wings. This time, I got off the ground, but crash landed in an olive tree. Over the next few months, I banged into 16 tree trunks, thumped into eight rose bushes, ouch, and came nose to nose with three startled seagulls. Leon was there to rescue me every time. One afternoon, when we were messing around with a piece of laundry line, I heard Mirabelle singing from a branch above us. Leon! I cried. That's it! I called her name and she flew down to my arm. Mirabelle held very still while we carefully measured her wings. Then, Leon scampered away like a rabbit reappearing with the motor from a lawnmower and two gigantic fans. He showed me how to cut them, and we worked together, whistling Mirabelle's tune. The Cloud Chaser was the most beautiful machine ever invented. As the motor roared to life, the machine began to pick up speed. I felt the ground disappear beneath me. The wind whipped my face and the seagulls fled. Leon was a tiny speck on the ground, far below me. He waved his arms. Squinting, I could see his mouth stretched into a huge smile. I was on top of the world. Until... Crash! When I opened my eyes, I was perched on the roof. But I was fine, and so was the cloud chaser. It only needs some tinkering and fine-tuning. Leon hollered. Believe me, this machine will work. We spent the rest of the summer working on our flying machine, measuring, adjusting, adding a few hooks here, a few clips there. I wished I could freeze those moments in time so they would never come to an end. Those afternoons, I was no longer just a kid, dreaming and doodling. We were adventurers. We were inventors of happiness. But on soft feet, the summer crept to an end, swapping laughter and warm breezes for my coat and school bag. I saw Leon less often, and then one day, he disappeared. I found a note pinned to his door. Dear Emery, at last we have tamed the cloud chaser. I've been called away on important business across the sea. So, on this lovely autumn morning, I shall strap on my helmet, snap my goggles into place, and take our invention on its first trip over the ocean. You must keep working on your own creations, and when I return, we will fly together. Wish me luck on the journey. Leon. Wherever Leon had gone, I knew he would need company, so I set Mirabelle free to find him. In the meantime, I doodle ideas in my notebook and work in the field between our houses with Leon's tools. Someday, on the wings of a warm summer breeze, my friend will come back in our first ever flying machine, and I will show him all my newest inventions. All right, that's the end of our story, second graders. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this story was inspiring. Today, I'm going to challenge you. Can you find any materials around your house, and can you think of a way that you could create something new? Maybe that might be to help somebody or to entertain you. What kinds of materials can you use to create something new? That's your challenge today. Have a great day.